Hello everybody, this is Leslie and today I have a unboxing from the Flaming Candle Company. So there are a couple of different companies that I tend to use on a fairly regular basis when I'm looking for items for candle fragrance oils, uh, candle making materials and stuff like that. Flaming Candle is one of those I'll say probably the top five that I actually order from. So I actually have quite a few from here that I needed. Um, the other company that I'm, I'm still waiting for is Aztec. Aztec has not sent me my order yet. I do have Virginia Candle Company. That is another video I will be doing that'll be a little bit longer because there's quite a few things in there um but I did inventory so I know some of the stuff that I was missing that was what I ordered flaming candle actually had some really good new fragrances for this year for 2022 I didn't get all of them I only got a couple of them so they should be in this box and it's a big box so all right, so we're back. I unpacked everything. I have everything in front of me. My packing list to make sure that I got everything that I asked for. So I use Eco Wix. I use um, IG6006 Wax, which is a para thin uh, soy blend wax. So it's like 70% paraffin and 30% soy which I started off doing soy. I did not like it. The throw was horrible on soy. This blend of wax gives you a phenomenal hot throw. So I never have to worry about my candles not having a scent to them. Plus with the calculations and stuff that I make, for my fragrance oils, I always usually get to the maximum load capacity for load oil, for fragrance oils. So even more so, you're gonna smell it on cold when you just take a candle and sniff it, but when you burn it, you're gonna smell it. That is one thing I pride myself on. I used to get frustrated with Yankee Candle because sometimes you would be able you could smell it in the cold throw and then and that's a paraffin wax you should smell it on a hot throw i'm like so you people aren't putting hardly any fragrance oil in these candles and charging an arm and leg for them that was another reason why i wanted to create my own candles but so i needed a couple more of the smaller ones because there's certain jars and stuff that i do double wick but um so i needed the eco sixes Eco 4s and Eco 2s were the ones that I was running low on. So when you order from Flaming Candle, usually you will get a free fragrance sample. I opened this up and I was like, ooh, I love sandalwood. This is sandalwood rose. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, wow. You have definitely the sandalwood. This is definitely like a perfume type scent. It is lovely. This you would not mix. This would be something straight out on its own this I could see in like a room spray, a car diffuser, one of my home diffusers. And this would be lovely in both wet, uh, this would probably be good in soap. This would be really nice in soap and bath and body. I would have to check to see if it's good for this does it say on here? I'll have to look it up. Oh, 
I have to see if it's skin safe. Because if it's skin safe, I'm definitely going to see about purchasing this to put, put in soaps. You get a one ounce jar when, um, when they give you the free samples. So that's one ounce. Okay, let me open these up. These are packed in paper, plus all those packing peanuts that I have now. And I have four ounces, eight ounces, and a couple of 16 ounce jars. Let me take them all out of the paper first. The other thing too is I love their bottling. They have the amber bottles, which is really good because amber saves on, um, like with sunlight and stuff like that. Not that you're gonna have these fragrance coils sit in the middle of a window, but still. Maybe these are my bigger ones. So I hope you're all looking forward to uh, purchasing candles and stuff for me this year, because I'm going to be making an awful lot. So hopefully I should have everything by next week so that I'll be able to start working on everything. And maybe I will try and take you along with me, if that's something that you would like. And tell me down in the comments if, if this is something that's interesting to you. Let me know what you want to see. Do you want to see me making candles again? Um, you know, if I get an order, do you want me to do like a... A boxing video with showing me boxing up stuff hopefully I'll have sales that I can show you <laughs> boxing videos um, again don't forget I have a sale going on now 25% off everything that's in the shop so we'll start off with the larger items I, I only have two are these both 16 yeah they are there's just why does one look so different? Um, now, some of these are going to be for the holidays. Which one is it? No, that's 16. It's just the bottle is different. No, okay. Well, this was a big seller for me a couple years back. Old World Christmas. So I got the 16 ounce jar. If I'm not mistaken, I think they were having sales because their prices really were not bad for 16 ounces. Or if it wasn't the sale, but that might've been Aztec. I can't remember. But a lot of the companies, because this is a time when candle makers are, candle makers are starting to get ready and starting for the holiday seasons, Halloween and Christmas, into January, February are hot times for candle makers. Now with the w way that the recession, I don't know if we're gonna go into a recession or what the deal is, but um, you know, that's, I try to make my candles as affordable as possible because some of the stuff is very, very expensive to buy. The jars especially, fragrance oils and jars are always the most expensive things to buy. But I am going to show you before we go into um, the flaming candle scents that I have here. In my last couple of videos, I talked about the straight sided jars. This is what a straight sided jar looks like. They're clear. So if I do color them with micas or whatever, you're gonna see the color through here. But this is what my jars will look like. Some may have silver tops. Uh, most will probably have black tops. But this is exactly what they look like. You will get eight ounces. Because this is like a nine ounce jar. Eight 
and this scent is in my shop i think if i'm not mistaken right now this is pumpkin maple crunch and it smells amazing if you can eat a candle you'd want to eat this candle all right so again old world christmas was a big seller for me for the holidays so this will definitely be I know, I'm sure another big seller this year. Sugar Cookie Royale. I have not smelt this one. Every sugar cookie I have purchased, this one has that scent, is always different. Because this one I'm hoping to kind of maybe mix as well. All right. So those are the two larger. Then we're going to go. This one is one I've had. This I've used for mixing. But this scent is phenomenal on its own. It's called Sparkling Evergreen. Oh. It, remi it reminds me of, I don't know if anybody has ever been to the Yankee Candle Village up in Massachusetts. When you go into the Christmas section, the Bavarian Village, it kind of reminds me when you walk back in there. That's where they have the trees and it snows. That's what this reminds me of. But this one I absolutely love. That's another one I'm really hoping that they don't discontinue. Um, oatmeal cookie. I had watched a couple of different reviews for oatmeal cookie. Yeah, this one's really good. This would probably be good on its own. But um, a couple of people had mentioned different fragrance oils to kind of mix together along with this. And it should be here, and here it is. Vanilla Buttercream Crunch. They said if you mix this along with oatmeal cookie, you get like a frosted oatmeal cookie. So let's see. Yep, I can definitely see that. Yeah, mm, that's gonna be good. Then we have Cracklin Birch. Birch is one I usually will mix. I don't know, I'm sure there's probably a lot of people that would like it alone, but to me, Birch is one that I like to mix. Now this is one of their new fragrances, so I don't want to do that one yet. All right, we'll go with this one. Firewood. This one is firewood. Oh, yeah. And it, all the different, like, tobaccos and firewoods, and those are all mixers for me. Okay, I thought my cat had gotten sick. So, firewood. It smells just like camping exactly like a campfire it's amazing uh, sometimes I'm, I'm telling you the, the companies that they come up with these ideas uh, it smells just like the actual item this one is harvest spice oh this one's really nice this is definitely Christmas holiday This one I could see probably doing it alone and as a mixer. Nutmeg and spice. I don't remember if this was a new one. That one's nice too. 
This one kind of smells, this would be good with gingerbread. Mmm. Yeah. This would be good with a mix of gingerbread. Oh, you know what? I better write that down. You put that off the side. Gingerbread. Where's my pencil? Because if I don't write it down now, I am going to forget. So if you're liking these videos, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and comment down below and tell me, you know, if these are scents that you think that you would kind of like, are there certain scents that you would like to see separate, mixed together? This one is Pipe Tobacco. This is another favorite of mine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it just reminds you of somebody sitting in a corner with a smoking jacket on next to a fireplace smoking a pipe. Oh, it's just amazing. This 10 this is definitely a mixer for me. Anything pipe tobacco or there's certain tobaccos I would do separately, but that one would definitely be a mixer. I keep pulling that one. Then we have orange spice. Oh, I love orange at the holiday time. It for Thanksgiving and for Christmas and into January, February. Mm. I can see, I'm gonna have to test this, but I can see this one with peppermint. It may sound strange, but orange spice and peppermint. Hmm. I may have to try that. Then we have birchwood pine. This one's nice too. Oh gosh. My husband John and I love Christmas tree scents. Pine, balsam, balsam cedar. We're not big into florals. I'm just gonna be starting to get into florals only because I know not everybody has the same likes that me and my husband do, but this is a new one. It's called Medusa's Elixir. This was a new one that came out. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, how do you even explain this? It has a clean, hmm. It's not like a cotton scent. It actually reminds me of my, my father's mother's, so my, my grandmother on my father's side, apartment. I don't know why, but I'm getting that. Wow. I like that. That is not a hol. I thought it was going to be like very Halloween-y type scent. I wouldn't. I don't even know what I would call this. I wouldn't even call it Medusa. I, I would have to totally come up with a different name for it. Bayberry and Silver Oak. I think this was a new one. They had quite a few. I, I, I think I got two new ones. This is pretty too. This is another winter scent. Wow. I like Bayberry. 
anyway. All right, so these are my my four four ounce ones. Those were all the eight ounce ones. Dragon's Blood. Dragon's Blood is always a mixer for me. And I love this one. This one has a soapy scent to it. It's got a mid, I don't want to say medicinal, like an herbal. It's an herbal soapy scent. That's why I use it as, as a mixer. I think they're good as mixers. Hold on. Hmm. I'm going to have to check these when we're done. Because I have two dragon's bloods. Oh, I did order two. Oh, maybe because I couldn't get it in the eight ounce and I wanted an eight ounce, so they gave me two. Okay, that, that's probably why. Never mind. Because I'm like, why do I have another one? Then this, I think, was a newer one too black cedar wood and juniper. Oh. That's nice. It's kind of masculine. This I would mix, but I don't know what I would mix it with because you really, I think it would be overpowering if you mix too much. I, I'm thinking a smoky scent, like a tobacco might go well with this. I'm gonna have to test that. But that was black cedar wood and Jupiter, Jupiter, yeah, juniper. Then we have cinnamon buns. Yeah, that one's good too. Cinnamon buns, I find, not every company does it really well. This one is pretty good. Then we have Bonfire. Wow, this one is smoky. This one was a mixer in one of my, that I needed for one of my um, candle fragrance scent formula that I have already. It smells more smoky than what I remember. Then I think this was a new one too. This is Full, for, full Farmhouse. I mean, the apple is there, but it's not all apple. It's kind of like a spicy apple. It's definitely not a Macintosh. Hmm. I don't know how to explain that one. It's kind of like an outdoorsy, um, fall-like, not piney, like an evergreenish type of apple scent. It's pretty. It's really nice. Okay, so that is everything that I have from the Flaming Candle. So I'm gonna have to put all these away and I'm going to be starting to test very shortly. Um, so some of these I'm going to probably keep just on their own. But again, let me show you some of the candles that are in the shop right now that are on sale. This is one of my 10 ounce 
black jars. This is one of my higher end candles, so these are a little bit more expensive in comparison, needless to say, to one of these. <laughs> these are a lot more expensive to purchase, but um, these are very, very thick. These are two wick candles because these types of glass, you have to, you have to dual wick them, but they're nice and thick. So never forget that if you get these types of jars, once you're done with burning the candle, if you haven't gotten rid of all of the wax, take um, like a, a rack that you're never like gonna use, buy something from the Dollar Tree, get like a little rack put it in like one of those tin, um, trays that you use for the holidays, put it on like 180, put it on a very, very low temperature, put your candle upside down, let the wax come out. You're, you should be able to get with a knife, a screwdriver. You should be able to pop the, um, the wicks out because they're on with wick stickers. So they should definitely come right out. Use the jars. I mean, yes, this is gonna smell like the actual candle, but but you can use just wash the jar and you could use the jar for display. You could put stuff in the bathroom. These are heavy jars. These are expensive, heavy jars. So reuse these jars. But this is the gatekeeper. And this is a very, very herbal, outdoorsy scent. And I think it's a, uh, I just think it's phenomenal, but that's just me. And then another one that we'll show in this video is a sharp dressed man. So we have Mr. Pumpkinhead, he's all dressed up in his tux for a night out on the town on Halloween. Hopefully you don't lose your head. Oh. And this one has a little sparkly gold dust. I so love these. I hope you guys, you know, will take the chance and read the descriptions in my Etsy shop. I try to, I will give you all of the scent descriptions in the, in the description. Sometimes too, I will create stories based on characters that I use too. I don't think I have any for this one, but, but I usually do. So that is it for this video. So that was all the stuff from the flaming candle that I purchased and I got my free sample, which this smells amazing. So I hope you'll head over to my Etsy shop and take advantage of the 25% sale that I have up until the 26th. And um, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a like, comment, share, Get me up to 1,500 subscribers and we will have the winner create their own candle. Mm -hmm. You will be creating your own candle. I will do the work, but you're going to create the scent profile. And it's just going to be in one of these types of jars because this is the most of what I have. But you're going to design pretty much your label. We're going to go based on whatever you want for your fragrances and we'll come up with a label and that's what you're going to win. So let's get up to 1500 guys. Faster to 1500, the faster you can make your candle. All right. So I hope everybody is well. And again, thank you all to my new subscribers. And without you, I wouldn't be doing this. Take care everybody and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.